have any of those crazy car stories? You know, those stories where you're in the car and something crazy happens. Whether it's inside the car or you're just driving the road and, and there's a big huge fire on the side of the road or there's this crazy accident or maybe like a lightning bolt strikes the car in front of you or something. Do you have any of those crazy car stories? Well, I have many of those, but I would like to share one of them with you today. Well, when I was in college, my friend Matt and I would basically drive from our college in Riverside, California Baptist University, to our home in Bakersfield, because we worked at our home church in, in Bakersfield from basically Friday to Monday, and then Monday night to Thursday night, Thursday afternoon, we were in Riverside going to college doing school. And that was where the, uh, the last three years of college. And so we have a lot of driving stories and car stories from all that driving that we did. But that's going to probably be a different episode. But today, I would like to share with you a story that happened my freshman year in college. Freshman year, I was just going to college. I didn't have a job or anything. And, you know, I'd go home maybe once a month just to visit the family. Well, I was with my friend KJ. And KJ and I were in his truck. And we were driving home to Bakersfield from Cal Baptist. Now, we weren't very far away from Riverside. And we were on the freeway called the 91. And those of you in Southern California who know about the 91 know that this story is going to be crazy. So we're on the 91 and we're just minding our own business. And we it's in the part that we were at at the time was a four lane highway on our side, the four lanes on our side. And we were in the third lane, just minding our own business, going, you know, normal speed, speed of traffic, everything like that. Well, all of a sudden, there's these two cars that came from nowhere. Like the souped up type of street cars, like Hondas or whatever they have, the souped up kind of cars, and they were racing. And there was like a red one, and then there was a dark green convertible one. And one of them passes us on our left, the other one passes us on the right. And you know how when you are racing around through traffic, you don't really get that far. And sometimes you actually pass up the cars that are trying to race because of certain type of traffic things. So KJ decided, you know, I'm going to get out of this whole thing. I don't even want to be in this. So I'm going to get all the way over the right lane. That way, you know, anything that could go wrong is out of our way. So we get all the way over to the right lane and just mind our own business. And uh, we see the cars. They're a little bit ahead of us. And they're still trying to, like, swerve around and everything. Well, then the red Honda just takes off. And it's gone. It's, like, almost gone. But the green convertible kind of just stayed back and didn't really do anything. Well, he was in the third lane, about 100 feet ahead of us, you know, kind of catty corner because we were on the right lane. He was in the third lane. And all of a sudden, he swerves over to the second lane and slams on his brakes and comes up and basically is in line with us. Basically, the tail of his car was in line with the front of our car. So he's kind of like a little bit at an angle. And then all of a sudden, he looks over at us, and we're like, what is going on? And then he grabs something from his passenger seat and points it directly at us. He was pointing a gun. He grabbed a gun from the passenger seat and was pointing it directly at us. I have no idea what kind of gun it was, but it was a handgun. But it just, we were just like, we had no idea what the heck happened. We don't even know what he was doing, why he was even pointing the gun at us. And so we are freaking out. And so KJ just reflex slams the brakes. I reflex pull out my phone and I call 911. And the guy just takes off and we don't know where he went. Well, KJ gets off on the next exit because, you know, we're a little freaked out. So I'm on the phone talking to the lady, telling her what happened. Turn left. You know, and of course, because I was too freaked out and wasn't thinking properly, I didn't get a license plate number. So the guy... Obviously, we probably think, he, you know, nothing really happened because I didn't have the license plate number, and I was really bummed about that. And it was a weird model of a car, too. I didn't really know exactly what model it was, so I couldn't really explain it very well to her. I told her what I saw what I saw on the back of the car, but I didn't know, you know, she had never heard of it, and I had never heard of it. And so, you know, KJ parked at some parking lot and got out and just kind of was calming down, and, and I was finishing my phone call with, with the lady, and KJ and I were just, we were flabbergasted. I mean, that's another word to put it. I mean, we was crazy. We were just like, what just happened to us? You know? And, um, you like that? Um, so, I mean, that was just, it was crazy. We just, 
we were just blown away that that happened. And I've never, I've never had a gun pointed at me again, again, since then. I never had a gun before that. It was just, I don't know how to, how to say it besides it was crazy. And, um, what made the story even crazier was that later that weekend, um, KJ's dad had found out that in the news that someone had been killed on the 91 from a racing game. What happens is, is, um, I don't know if they still have them, but in the 91, it was pretty common where a racing gang would race somebody and then they'd kill them. And we don't know, but they was, and, and that, that killing had happened on that Friday, um, night and we had been driving home Friday afternoon. So I don't know if that had any connection to it, but that definitely was a crazy news story considering what had happened to us earlier that day. So crazy. I hope this never happens to you, but if you're on the 91, just beware, don't go racing. And we weren't trying to race. We were just no, minding no business. I don't know how the guy might've thought we were trying to race him or something. I don't know. Maybe he was just jealous of KJ's truck. I don't know. Anyways, so there's just some food for thought and, um, hope you enjoyed the story and maybe I'll do another episode with all my other crazy car stories from, uh, my college driving experience and me and Matt have lots of stories anyways. Well, that's it for today. And always remember, my name is James and I am your friend.